Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is Justin Lynch's here. How are you guys doing? So guess what? I'm coming to you guys today back with another review. Okay, so the review today is going to be the brand new iPhone 10. Okay, iPhone X, whatever you want to call it. So I pre-ordered this um, like two weeks ago, a week ago, whenever it was. Uh, I have the trading program. It's a great program, the Apple upgrade program. If you have that, great. Okay, so I picked it up at my Apple store, my, my closest Apple store. I had a reservation. Everything was set up perfect. It gave me a QR code. I went in there, got the phone. Uh, everything seemed good. I traded in my 7, got the iPhone 10. So I'm going to open the box. And I've been using it already. I just wanted to show you guys the box. So I got a cool cover on there. This is custom. This was not sold in the Apple Store. So, first thing you notice on the phone, there's no home button. So, in the Apple Store, uh, I kept trying to press for the home button. And there's no home button over here. So, you got to get used to that. They have a thing called Face ID. I set it up. It works pretty good. So, basically how it works is you look into it and there's a little, you know, little little lock thing on there and it unlocks so I'm like oh okay it's gonna open itself not true it does not open itself actually you have to you'll see the little the little thing unlock and you have to swipe up that's one con that I don't like about the phone at the moment is that it doesn't fully unlock you still have to swipe up so it's like you still have a home button the home button is you gotta swipe up um another another flaw that I thought was going to be a problem because as you can see on the top left there they have the the battery how much how much battery you have left it doesn't show the percentage there's nothing in the settings that show the percentage uh, the percentage of you know how much battery you got left so that's not on there the way I found out how to check if you have what well how much battery you have is you got to do a right quarter swipe at the top and then you could see the percentage comes up so you got to do that to um, um, check your percentage next um, let me think of another flaw at the moment a little annoying so as you can see there's a separation up here there's a separation up there between the AT&T or whatever provider you have and the, your service and signal strength. When you're watching a video, that's a little distracting because you see a big ass border right there. Big border. Okay. Um, that could be a little problem for some people if you're interested in, you know, looking at full videos. There might be a way to stop that. I'm not sure. Speed wise, this blows every other iPhone out of the water. Speed is unbelievable fast, unbelievable. Um, downloads came in quick if you're connected to Wi Fi. Runs smoothly, that's what I gotta say about that. The camera, very clear, best camera on an iPhone ever. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Face ID is cool, and if you miss the face ID, they give you the you know, you could put your code in, put your passcode in to unlock it. Best feature of this phone, I'm going to tell you guys right now, best feature so far that I found. So, you don't have to press anything. Excuse me, let me correct myself. If you want to turn your phone on and it's on already, all you got to do is a little click. That's awesome. Okay, you don't have to push the, the, home, the power button every time. Um, they have emergency SOS thing on this phone. If you hold this in like for like 10 seconds an emergency SOS will come up and they'll call like authorities um, so so far this phone is very good I haven't seen any problems yet signal strength is fine no glitches no bugs like a few of the other Apple iPhones that came out where there were a few bugs no bugs very smooth I also like how they have the camera down here and they have your flashlight so if you hold that and you have to swipe the phone up. You have to unlock the phone to actually access the camera and the flashlight, unlike the other iPhones, which you didn't have to do that. Um, inside the box, you know, you got your standard crappy headphones that don't stay in your ears, and you got 
this is cool they give you you know the adapter there is currently no wireless charging yet for this phone um, I got the 256 gigabyte you never know and it's cool they also give you a uh, is this a dongle oh no they don't give you a dongle excuse me it's just for the headphones so so far I think the phone is great I think it's a great upgrade uh, battery seems really good signal strength is good I would highly recommend this phone so the very pricey it's for it's you know it's starting at a thousand dollars I'm sure it'll go down after a while but you're paying for quality it all depends if you want high quality or low quality so I would recommend getting this phone I recommend getting a case because if you drop it this thing's gonna smack up get a protective case so I enjoyed this phone so far fellas and so I hope you enjoyed the review maybe go buy one when it comes back in stock in five to six weeks if you didn't pre-order and until next time take care y'all